Hey guys, we turn this way. As y'all can see, today is a total rain out. So it's a good day to install this. A nicer inverter than the one I have. And Peak was nice enough to send this to me. So we're gonna install it and do a little testing on it. Here we go. See what we got here it's the ampeak 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter let's get this hooked up okay so i installed it during one of those thunderstorms in my shop and the lighting was terrible so um i'm just going to show you what i did how i have it hooked up and then we're going to test it All right, this is the MP 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. If you turn it on, it has a, hold on a second. I got something running. All right, I had to crank up because I had a vacuum pump running. I don't know if y'all can see this, but it's showing I'm pulling 747 watts, 114 volts, 6.6 .6 amps at 60 hertz. My battery's at 13.8 volts because my engine's cranked up. We got a rapid charger charging my battery just basically did got one vacuum pump running two vacuum pumps running Two vacuum pumps and a charger. Let's see how many watts we got. Mm. Looks like we're pulling 1177, 1157. That's just a little over half of what this can do. Let's see if we can find something else to plug into it. All right, how about an old search saw? All right, so it won't do that with all this other stuff running. Let's, look, let's look, turn a couple things off. Let's turn those off. I still got the battery charger running. Now this is a big circular saw. 13 amps. Alright, on startup, that pulls a lot of watts. I know it's hard for y'all to see. beast I don't use that anymore I actually have a battery powered one that I use 13 amp saw 
Let's turn this back on. All right, a vacuum pump, battery charger, 667 watts. And the 13 amp saw. And I want to see right here it says 120 volts, 13 amps. I should probably walk you through how I have it hooked up. These two wires go straight to my battery. This is to my negative terminal. This is to my positive terminal. My positive wire comes up here and goes to a AML fuse. Actually, what I have right now is a 250 amp. I need something more like 150. And then once it leaves the fuse, it comes up and goes straight here. So yeah, that's basically all of installing one of these and what it'll run. It'll run a lot more than I'll ever use. Basically all I'm going to be doing is maybe a battery charger, recovery machine, vacuum pump or something, and it'll do plenty of that. And if you want to know to how, how to size the wire from your battery to your inverter that's a 2000 watt inverter you divide that by 12 volts that's how many amps it can handle so um you're going to want a wire that can handle 166 amps that right there is single lot wire which should be good for 150 All right, drawing at me what's on the inverter, I'm not gonna do it without the engine running. And in most cases, if you're gonna pull that many watts, you probably need two batteries. But I rarely, I'm not ever gonna pull that many. I might have a recovery machine running or a vacuum pump running on it, or maybe a battery charger, but that's it. That's all I'm gonna have. So this is more than enough for what I need. The things I like about that particular inverter, it shows the watts that you're putting out so you can keep from overloading it. Like I did a couple times with this saw, but that saw has a lot of startup amps and it just was too much with two vacuum pumps running and a charger. So um, I hope you like this. I'm gonna try to leave a link in the description to this particular inverter. It's a nice upgrade from what I had. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.